Hi there, and welcome to the Cotswold Explorer. I'm Robin Shuckborough, and you find me, Ross and Widget, in the breathtaking village of Bybury. When you think of the Cotswolds, you imagine limestone buildings with deep pitched roofs, topped with heavy stone tiles, nestling in gentle undulating countryside, with shallow streams running through the valleys, filled with trout and hunted by egrets and kingfishers. Nowhere in the whole region is that picture more clearly painted than here in this little village of Bybury. We're going to show you around, and don't forget, if you haven't done so already, press the subscribe button below and keep in touch with all the films we make. In 1726, Alexander Pope described the pleasing prospect of Bybury, and in the late 1800s, William Morris thought Bybury surely the most beautiful village in England. But it was in 1898, on the publication of A Cotswold Village by Joseph Arthur Gibbs, that Bybury really became famous. The best known view of Bybury is of the row of late 14th century cottages known as Arlington Row. Built originally as a monastic wool store, in the 17th century it was converted into a row of weavers' cottages. They stand at the foot of the strangely named Awkward Hill, pronounced locally as Awkward Hill, and now belong to the National Trust. In the 1970s they restored and altered the buildings, merging some of the cottages together to provide comfortable accommodation for the 21st century. The River Colne, which runs through Bybury, is teeming with trout, and at one end of the village is the Bybury Trout Farm. Next to the bridge over the river, which carries the main road to Cheltenham, millions of rainbow trout are spawned each year, and the smoked trout available from their shop is justly famous. Bybury has a particular fascination for the Japanese tourists. In 1921, the Crown Prince Hirohito, before he became emperor, famously visited England as part of his European tour, a trip which he described as one of the happiest times of his life, and he visited and stayed in Bybury. Thousands of his compatriots have followed in his footsteps. For many years, the village has been served by two hotels. One of them, at Bybury Court, a beautiful 17th century manor house, has recently become a private house again and is undergoing huge restoration. The other, now known as the Swan, is still in full flow. Originally a 17th century coaching inn with stabling and a tap room, these days it's a fine hotel with comfortable rooms and excellent cuisine. It's said that local trials were held here, a claim perhaps backed up by the small stone lockup built next to the road a few yards from the hotel. The village itself nestles around the Church of St. Mary's. It's a Saxon church, originally dating from the 8th century, with Norman and Gothic additions. So important were some of its Saxon artefacts that they've been removed to the British Museum. However, the church remains well worth a visit. Wandering around this extraordinarily beautiful place of Bybury, um, admittedly at, at the ungodly hour of about half past five in the morning, which we've done in order to avoid the huge amounts of traffic that we've spoken about earlier on. Um, it's quite clear that why William Morris thought this the most beautiful village in England. It's an extraordinary place. I'm standing in front now of St Mary the Virgin Church in Bybury, and uh, I hope that you've enjoyed your trip around the village with us. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. And our website is thecotswoldexplorer.co.uk. Uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>